Welcome back now to the latest on Wall Street. Markets rallying yesterday. Yesterday, the uh, the fourth straight day of gains. Despite the higher than expected inflation data, you were here with us this morning when the market completely fell out of bed after the CPI was released at 8.30 a.m. yesterday. Market completely reversed course, going from up 200 to down 300. As soon as that CPI was released, and by the end of the day, another reversal. Markets are expected to be up this morning 250 points right at the start of trading, 1%. S&P is up a half of a percent and the NASDAQ right now is up two-thirds of a percent. Lindsay Bell, this after a big day at the close yesterday. What are you expecting and what do you think went on yesterday in terms of the CPI and this market digesting a stronger backdrop for the economy, certainly. Well, I think volatility is certainly here to stay. And yesterday was a very interesting day because that CPI number spooked investors and it was so highly publicized and people were just so focused on it. Whenever was a CPI number that important, right? Um, but then you saw retail sales come in that were weaker than expected. I think when it's all said and done, January is going to be an aberration for the market. And remember, like I know that a lot of economists, especially, were bringing down their GDP, GDP expectations for the first quarter. January is the first month of the first quarter. We still have two more months to go. And what's with the Atlanta Fed now coming back down to, to, to uh, levels of below 4 percent in terms of its expectations in terms of growth? Right. They're now expecting 3.2 percent growth. This um, from the Fed who came out with a 5.4 percent prediction just, right, a, a, just a couple of weeks, weeks ago. ago. Two weeks ago. Yes. Um, you know what? It's, it's come down. 3.2 percent is still very, very good. We got yeah. two quarters last year of 3 percent growth. The fourth quarter is looking right now. It's at 2.6 percent. Those numbers are starting to come down a little bit given inventory numbers. Um, but consumer, it's been the consumer um, consumption that has been brought down. It was at 4 percent in that initial estimate of 5.4 percent GDP growth. Now it's down to 2 percent, which is still a pretty decent number. Historically, on average, we've seen uh, consumption in any given quarter average about 2.8 percent. In the fourth quarter, it was 3.8 percent. Look, January, the consumer yeah. just doesn't spend as much. They're paying off credit yeah. card bills. They're used to discounts. Yeah. Yeah, it's just not a big Re really good there. insight, Lindsay. And you know, Dave and I marvel all the time about how many fantastic guests we have on this program to really give us serious, accurate information. Right. So, as a reminder, to watch this program, it was January fifth earlier this year when J.P. Morgan Chase Chairman and CEO Jamie Dimon told us in my exclusive interview back in January to expect higher interest rates, expect inflation. It came almost. Three weeks after he said it, listen to this prediction back in January from him. They've been lower much longer than people think, both the short run and the 10-year, and they've gone up slower than people thought. I think there's going to be a point in time they go up faster than people think. And I don't know if that now is that inflection point, but it wouldn't surprise me if that's sometime in the next six to nine months. But, to, but if it's for good reason, like a strong American economy, that's okay. It was back in January when he said, Dagan, look, we're going to be talking about inflation. We're going to talk about interest rates in the next six months. It happened like immediately. Right. And one interesting thing that happened yesterday is you had a sell off in treasuries really across the board in terms of the yields hitting multi year highs between the 10, the two year, the five year, the 10 year, the 30 year treasury bond moved above 3.16 percent near its two previous peaks of the last three years. What the bond market is beginning to say, and stocks still rallied in the face of that, exactly. which is important to note, but that the Federal Reserve is going to have to act more aggressively to keep inflation in check. Because again, if the Fed doesn't move and is kind of holding back like Alan Greenspan did, then you have these higher prices mm. eating into people's higher wages. Mm. That's what you don't want to have. Well, that's exactly why the 10 year was up yesterday, because the market is anticipating increased uh, rate hikes by the Fed as we go throughout the year. Um, um, right now, March, 80 percent chance. We still expect three. There's a 20 percent chance that we'll get four. Um, I think that inflation, though, while it's so showing signs of increasing, it's still 1.8 percent year over year. That's the core CPI number yesterday. The PCE core is one and a half percent. These are very low by historical standards. But with inflation, you have to factor in the expectations of inflation. And actually, right. consumers, if they see higher prices and worry about that, then they act in a way that the demand higher wages say, I'm worried about my food prices going up. So they actually cause this inflate, this upward cycle in inflation. Well, in the five year, you look at the five year break even inflation rate, it's 
creeped up to 2.3 percent. So that's exactly what you're talking about, and we haven't seen that rate since 2008. So now we have to continue to worry whether or not the Federal Reserve is going to go too fast, too, right. too right. hot. It's and, a delicate it, dance. It, it, this Goldilocks is gone. And right. by the way, the Republicans with that budget bill, that buster, are not helping matters. Mm. Running trillion dollar deficits, as far as okay. the eye can see, yep. that added that added so much pressure on the Federal Reserve and so much more concern to the market. That was a mistake. With all frankly. of this, ladies, look at this market up 240 yep. points Get this down. morning. Uh, is it a different focus or are we talking about an 18, 20 percent earnings growth story? We, we regained half of our losses from the Ju or January 26 high. And yes, for, tw for this year, we're expecting 20 percent earnings there growth. You go. Yeah. Estimates right now are at 18.4. It's going to go higher. Yeah, I'm sure of it. I mean, Deutsche Bank's at 23 percent, by yeah. the way. You wanted to say something. You know, like how long is it going to Consumer optimism going to last? That's the question. You know? Wages are going up. People are perfect. Wages fine. are going up. Earnings are going up. Growth is going up. And they're still at very high levels. And wages are a key component. And those thousand dollar bonuses. It's, it's like I said. Who is opening their paycheck this month, saying, "Oh boy, I wish Brunch. Nancy Pelosi had this money <laughs> instead of me." Yeah. You earned yeah. it, and you're getting yeah. to keep more of it. Uh, who's thinking? I wish those Democrats would be spending this for me. Right. Nobody's thinking. <laughs> nobody no. said nobody ever. <laughs> 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 no.